नमस्कार एंड हैप्पी अमृत महोत्सव टू ऑल ऑफ यू हमारे आजादी के पचहत्तरवा जो अमृत महोत्सव है जो हम ये अगस्त में फिफ्टीन अगस्त को सेलिब्रेट कर रहे सो हैप्पी अमृत महोत्सव टू ऑल ऑफ अस एंड आज कारगिल विजय दिवस भी है तो उसके लिए भी सभी लोगों को कारगिल विजय दिवस की शुभकामनाएं छब्बीस जुलाई We all knows for many things. 26 जुलाई जब हम गूगल करते हैं तो बहुत सारे इवेंट्स भी आते हैं और 26 तो मुंबई के लिए मतलब इट विल बी ट्वेंटी 26 नवंबर और लास्ट हुआ पर 26 जुलाई 2005 थाउजेंड फाइव वी ऑल नोन फॉर मुंबई डेल्यूज मुंबई फ्लड चालीस हजार करोड़ का नुकसान हुआ था मुंबई को एक ही दिन में और हजार से ज्यादा लोगों की जान गई और रिवर मार्च इस टॉपिक पे लास्ट दस साल से बात कर रही है 2006 में चितले कमीशन रिपोर्ट विच इज अ फैक्ट फाइंडिंग रिपोर्ट ऑन दिस इश्यू एंड विच इज देयर रिकमेंडेशन एंड सजेशन विच इज एग्रीड बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बट अब तक हुआ क्या इस टॉपिक पे जब भी मुंबई में बारिश चालू होती है तो बहुत सारी चीजों पे बात होती है कि प्री मॉनसून प्रिकॉशन द डिजास्टर्स मैनेजमेंट प्रिकॉशन पर एक्चुअल ग्राउंड रियलिटी में फैक्ट फाइंडिंग रिपोर्ट के अंदर जितने भी सजेशंस एंड रिकमेंडेशंस है उसमें क्या हुआ है मुंबई मार्च टीम ट्राई टू ब्रिंग यू हाईलाइटिंग दिस इश्यूज एंड I thankful to the entire team, especially Avinash Thawani, because we having a some different plan to connect with you on Australian rivers and the American rivers, but we can't able to make it. So overnight, we come with the sums of suggestions, which is uh, done by uh, Avinash and the Hitesh. So thanks to both of them. You can see the pictures on the screen right now. next on uh, left of your screen which is the conditions of mumbai on the 26th of july and really this reports gives a insight so let's talk about few of the points and some suggestions so i request avinas to go for the next slide of a recommendation one recommendation 1 if you see the it is clearly talking about the restoration and de graded rivers and the river banks and the recovery of a complete ecosystem of the city it may be a meethi river it may be a oshivira may poisar or dahisar and there will be a part of the length of the river mumbai uh, river is having its tributaries which we are calling the nala over here like meethi nala or the dahisar nala there is more than 600 kilometers of nala All around in the city. So, इतने सालों में सत्रह साल में सरकार ने क्या किया बहुत सारे रिकमेंडेशन एंड सजेशन है उसके ऊपर क्या रियलिस्टिक काम हुए हैं मैं इसमें से आपके साथ में स्क्रीन में एक रिकमेंडेशन वन में पॉइंट सिक्स है कि जो तबेले है जहां से मिथेन गैस होता है मिथेन गैस जब जनरेट होता है तो उसका ह्यूमन ब्रेन पे क्या इफेक्ट होता है वी ऑल नोस पर दहिसर रिवर के अंदर पोइसर रिवर और ओशीविरा जहां पे टन्स में काउडक जो है वो रिवर में डाला जाता है एंड रिवर मार्च इज फाइटिंग फॉर लास्ट फाइव इयर्स हमने सत्याग्रह की एजिटेशन किया कंटिन्यूस ऑफिसर्स से मीटिंग्स की वी ट्राई टू हाईलाइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पॉलिटिशियन बट ऑन ग्राउंड जीरो नथिंग इज डेट और ये रिवर बैंक का डी जनरेट के लिए इन्होंने क्या किया दे मेड अ कॉन्क्रिटाइज वॉल विथ एट थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज अक्रॉस द रिवर्स एंड दे इवन कवर्ड द रिवर बैंक वी आर फाइटिंग दिस इश्यू विथ अ बिग वे इन द बॉम्बे हाईकोर्ट द केस इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन but this is the conditions and this i will mumbai match will share one or two videos after that ki this levy uh, retaining wall 
हाउ इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फ्लडिंग इन द सिटी तो ये जो सरकार कर रही है म्यूनसिपल कॉरपोरेशन कर रही है और महाराष्ट्र पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड और गवर्नमेंट जो आग बंद करके बैठी हुई है जो इस टॉपिक के ऊपर कुछ बात करना नहीं चाहती है या कुछ बोलना नहीं चाहती है सो दिस आर द सम ऑफ थिंग्स यू कैन सी वेजिटेशन हिल स्लोप चेक डैम रिवर मार्च मेड वन चेक डैम विद हेल्प ऑफ आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग नियर द दही सर इट्स काइंड ऑफ बंदारा कोलापुरी बंदारा वी आर सेइंग इन अ लोकल लैंग्वेज और वहां पांच करोड़ लीटर पानी हमने ये किया और उसके कारण उस एरिया में वाटर टेबल कम अप हुआ द बायोडाइवर्सिटी कम्स अप यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ बर्ड्स एंड द किंग फिशर्स एंड द फिश अराउंड द एरिया तो अगर एक छोटा सा ग्रुप अगर ये पूरा कर सकता है एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ करोड़ what municipal corporation is talking about the budget on the rivers and they highlighted the complete how they are going to start the work but actually on ground it's everything is zero next i'm coming to recommendation 3 which is talk about urban ecosystem including lake ponds rivers creeks and coastal zones aage is pe baat karenge is area mein kya hua hai but I must tell you, Mumbai is the only city which is having a mountains, forest, rivers, mangroves, beaches, and the sea, and which is just in the span of three kilometer. None of the metro city in this world is having a such a beautiful biodiversity or ecosystem. And this is not a small forest. We are having the world's highest leopard dense population in this forest. The jackals and the smallest wild cat we are having more than 260 species of birds 160 species of butterfly across the city and still in the worst situation dolphin is visiting the mumbai we are having a beautiful marine life around the city so this needs to be degenerate ecosystem has to be restored lot of lakes and ponds which are no more there in the city dead rivers and creeks are full of debris because the city is not having any debris management system so whatever debris and encroachment of our land and the coastal areas which is having a great biodiversity and i must tell you ki uh, mumbai forest especially sanjay gandhi national park and ra having a more than 1550 species of flora and fauna which is not there in entire world the second highest in african forest kenya is around 650 species so you can say the kind of biodiversity we are having nothing less than the african or amazon forest so we should preserve this next recommendation 4 now this is very important recommendation the restorations of mangroves the ecosystem the rejuvenation of uh, coastal areas so there is a lot of i don't want to go right now into the depth but uh, first today is uh, international mangrove days also and hamare mangroves itne pyare hai the world's best mangroves is a uh, sundarban in uh, west bengal or in the border of bangladesh but our mangrove is not less than that our mangrove is also having a beautiful biodiversity there is more than 18 around 18 species in west bengal we having nine species so i will try to show up with some of the google pictures of mangroves next you can see ki this is the two uh, pictures of one is the google and one is the dpr plan of 2000 1991 2011 and which is nearly same in 2014 the aksa marve and malavni area and you can see the google of that the complete area is full of slums the area is encroached the land is encroached big filming studios came over there and the entire biodiversity is completely killed and what we are talking about uh, such a things on the mangrove days even i don't like but it's a fact in front of you 
which are two different our municipal corporation saying this is the no development zone this is the green zone such a development will not allow then how such a slums is developed over here and now what we are going to do with that definitely within few minutes i am coming on that portion after two three more slides so next slide you can see one of more mangroves green areas of the isar ganpat patil nagar access stations and the, you can see the dp of both the areas it is showing the green and the entire ganpat patil nagar developed over there so how we can tackle over this how we can balancing the mangroves the city development and the city populations so there is very important and challenging topic in front of us he how we manage the biodiversity as well as the economy of the city and the modernization also the modernization what we mean is not only with the infrastructure but how the infrastructures can be created with the environment that is one of the modernization according to the me next rejuvenation of uh, upgrading the hills slopes lakes ponds we already talked so iska conditions kya hai hamare hills sare hum bhul chuke hain hills ko mumbai mein hills the wo british has ne jab bhi malwar hill develop kiya tha kambala hill develop kiya ya pali hill develop kiya see the beauty of that but when we start developing just check asalpa hill ghatkopar hill pawai hill or the hill on the back side of bhandu or in the nearly trombe area it's full of uh, you can say uh, slums there is a no road the light is also not reaching ground i will show you with some of the more google pictures yes please next see the condition one is uh, asalpa hill and one is near the pawai you can see how the condition is तो जब भी बारिश आती है लैंड स्लाइड इज द वन ऑफ द मेजर प्रॉब्लम पर लैंड स्लाइड के साथ में ये कंप्लीट एरिया कंक्रीट से कवर्ड है और जब भी बारिश आती है पूरा पानी इज जस्ट लाइक अ फ्लैश फ्लड इन द सिटी तो हर घर झोपड़े के ऊपर से स्ट्रक्चर के बीच से छोटी छोटी गलियों के बीच से निकल के पानी नीचे ग्राउंड में आ जाता है and complete city is flooded can we talk about this why government is not talking they put it this hill is in a side in no development zone or the development cannot be possible you can't cut the hill if you cut the hill the catchment area of the rivers will be changed the nala will be changed so it is very difficult but it is not impossible with the name of a zero slums mumbai you can see in the logo zero slums mumbai the bulb a small idea this mumbai march is taken and trying to explain ki how this hills can be developed it's nothing a rocket science this is developed in malbar hill kambala hill pali hill but what we did in pawai in ghatkopar and that is the reason why city is getting flooded people are suffering in the small room which is not even the sunlight is reaching there they are struggling with the water supply they are struggling with sometimes even the toilets also but still in last 17 years there a lot of recommendation but nothing is done on this next municipal solid waste the plastic ban thermocol ban we are listening government is saying we will implement then the covid and then will implement later on now the central government they having their own problems maybe the plastic are coming from the neighbor states and they can't have a control over there but all this are the world of reasons this plastic is nothing but a land mines for us for especially for city like mumbai where they having a extraordinary ecosystem so the mumbai march itself is originating when we show a uh, 3 and 1/2 kg plastic in the during the postmortem of the one deer died in the sanjay gandhi vessel pa and from there 2011 our journey started but after the so much ruling by the court uh, trying to control the solid waste management system but in on the ground even you can visit the municipal hospitals 
markets and the school even bmc himself themselves it didn't do anything in this area so it is surprising they are pressurizing the societies individuals and the hotels but what they did in that area because the maximum solid waste is generated in municipal markets so they have to do that first in a large way their municipal hospitals municipal schools municipal gardens and then they have to talk about the other areas of course each and every citizen should support a solid waste management which is recommended by the authority so it's not that you always opposing the authority but we uh, have to support them in certain areas especially the 2005 flood the major reason is a plastic because plastic chop all the uh, wherever the water is uh, moving it was blocked the area so that was a big threat for not only for environment for flooding also for the human life also and the for the city cancer also city is increasing the cancer at a rate of 25% per annum so the plastic is a one of the culprit in that so we have to talk about that next upgrading of sewer treatment plant thanks to the municipal corporations after fighting a lot of politicians uh, parties between but now there is after the so much pressure by the court and continuously we pushing this with the government and now the all i hope ki they will start all the five recommended uh, plant of a uh, sewer uh, management and the treatment in uh, october and end of the 2025 we can see the blue water instead of a gray water actually if you visit the ju beach gorai or the uh, chopati you are not in the sea water but your feet will be definitely in the sewer water that is the conditions of the mumbai beaches because right now the complete mumbai discharging their sewer into sea without any basic treatment not only mumbai but meera bhainder uh, even new mumbai and other municipal corp seven other municipal corporations surrounded and surprisingly two days back i got a message from meera bhainder uh, mumbai march team ki the uh, sewer plant is not operated in meera bhainder even they are constructed but there is no no operations at present so we'll try to see try to figure out what is there next surprisingly something which is near to our heart for entire team the sanjay gandhi national park i told you how big the one fourth of the city how beautiful it is but next slide will show you how the people are treating next see this is the google slide behind the dindusi court you can see the few builders are clearing this mountain we fought for this this is the origin of oshivira river or a walbert river very beautiful area par yahan aaju baaju dekhiye greenery ug rahi hai jangal ug raha hai itne se patch mein hi greenery nahi ug raha jangal nahi ug raha ye no development zone hai to yahan jhad kaise kaate jaye ya municipal corporation ko महाराष्ट्र पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड को दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है नागरिक निवारण कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी के एज पे ये है एंड देर इज अड फैमिली देर इज अट ऑफ पिक्चर्स ऑफ अड वेन मुंबई मार्च टीम विजिटेड लास्ट ईयर दे स्टॉप एंट्री आफ्टर टू डेज सो यू कैन सी क्लियरली कि हाउ दिस पैच इज नो बट इज बॉदरिंग दिस पैच हाउ दे जस्ट यू सी बिहाइंड दिस पैच देर इज अल बिग लेक this is a vihar lake how important this land for the environment for the sanjay gandhi national park it may be some builders are claiming but if it is ndz how they are operating such a way how they are removing this green patches from this land and nobody is taking objections and when somebody takes the objection you know yesterday what happened in our so that's the thing ki why environment is not important for government only that we want a development or you we don't want to balance the environment and development that is always the questions in front of civilized society next development plan 
last five years, we are rigorously talking about the Mumbai Development Plan prepared in 1967-1991 and then the like now the 2014-34 plan where how the open spaces, the especially the gardens, the other reservations, other green patches, just I talk about the no development zone area. But what is actually over there? Is there any survey? In last 50 years, Mumbai roads are not completed. Mumbai March team made it a big movement, La Pata Sada, the missing road links, the missing ages of the road, the connectivity of the roads. 50% roads in the western area, more than 80% roads in the city are blocked. Or they are not winding as per the DT plan. They are blocked because uh, slums are on the uh, there or some government land as there, like a forest land or a food corporation land, or sometimes it is maybe a BMC land or a, some private land with a dispute. But can we do anything on this? When it is DP, when it is implemented by the, uh, it is uh, approved by the Vidhan Sabha, it is as per law, they can take this land and connect it the road connectivity. Why they are not doing this? For last 50 years, Mumbai is struggling. 41,000 crores we are using, losing in the traffic, uh, fuel, only in a standstill conditions, three hours to one end to other end for 30 kilometers. So what we are talking about uh, bullet train, you will reach Ahmedabad in two and a half hours. But what about the city traffic? Uh, Honorable Minister, Mr. Gadkari told me from the Nariman point to Delhi, it will take 12 hours. But what about the Kolaba to Daisar or Kolaba to Chembur or Kolaba to Mulun? It takes three hours right now. Why the portholes are there? Why the Roads are not developed and designed as per DP. When the portholes are there, it is only because of monsoon, there is no right slope given to the roads. The, when there is a patch, the patch is above, so the slope will be not there, water is retaining, and when there is a break by the vehicle, the sum of the stones comes out and that breaks the complete road. And you know that when a city like Mumbai, which is having a huge uh, rainfall, then the roads are used as a river during the monsoon. But they never planned. You can see the slope of the roads, the side storm drain water, more than 1,500 kilometers of storm drain water is in the city. But there is a no proper slope. Some of the storm drain water is having a sewer water inside. Some is having, an, because of the no right slope, the, they are retaining waters and the dengues and the malaria takes the city on even uh, once the monsoon will finish. So there is always a small mischief by the uh, uh, engineers of uh, municipal corporations or they are let it grow or maybe some other reason we all know what the corruption is in the city. So that takes the city for dengues too because they are not considering the river uh, roads as a river. But basically, when the entire city is concretized, the road is to be designed as a river during the month. Next. Now, people are asking us ki why you suddenly talk about uh, Jiro Slum Mumbai when you talk about the river or the DP plans of the traffic. Yes, there is a two Google pictures which is uh, one is the a part of west of highway and one is the east of highway of a uh, Kandivali Poisar area of a uh, Poisar river. You can see the river in uh, one line and the slums around. Chantanagar, that is a Poisar slums and the Kandivali area, you can see the river in one of the areas, so the stream line of the river from Kranti Nagar to Mahindra and Mahindra yellow gate over there. If we can't able to develop the slums as per DP, because there is a lot of green patches around the river, which DP talks about. But if we want to develop this river, we have to develop this slums. The SRA, which is not able to provide us the two legs houses in last 28 years. 
so uh, with this speed it will take to more than 230 years to uh, re uh, develop the housing system i don't know the marda and the sra and bmc in the state government and pradhan mantri awas yojana and rajiv gandhi awas yojana nothing is for mumbai even though we are paying the 35% of income tax to this nation but why we are not talking about the dignity of this people see the conditions even you can't see anything it looks like a patches if you see on the ground zero even the sunlight is not reaching there properly this is the conditions and this is more than 2 lakhs people around just 2 kilometers around the kandivali and the polsar in the west area so this is the condition that's why to regenerate the ecosystem of mumbai we needs to talk about the zero slums of mumbai that is not all of course the dignity of people who are living who is actually running the city next mumbai again i am saying so beautiful city you can see whatever the green patches around this now mumbai march is talking about the mmrda the complete area to be rejuvenated you see the uh, sanjay gandhi national park tungareswar wildlife sanctuary around and see the uh, manori creek and where the sector 8 is written is one of the beautiful hill is called tarzan hill this tarzan hill is so beautiful very rare species of reptiles which is around the tarzan lake and the manori hill and the gorai creek is all around so river march is team is demanding the bird sanctuary over there to preserve this complete passage of a green patch of mangroves and you will surprise you can see the mira behind the connectivity where the leopard is crossing a uh, highway and the uh, comings out from the sanjay gandhi national park and going to gorai a uh, few months back we see the leopard fog marks in gorai and it's fact and the last year we see the one leopard died crossing the highway with the uh, babies so that's happening around so why the government is already on demand of mumbai march team pass the animal bypass but no constructions on ground zero yet so we have to fight we are demanding this beautiful tarzan hill has to be a bird sanctuary the first bird sanctuary of mumbai you will please visit this area now the encroachment is started from sector 8 area already mahada encroaches this and given this it's okay but whatever the other green patches which is remaining it's so much encroachment during the uh, covid time the people use this lockdown not for in the favor of the city but for favoring themselves even we are worse than what the british had did during the pandemic of 1897 they comes out with a bombay improvement trust but we don't have uh, anything for our city after this pandemic we didn't learn anything what is the important of oxygen during the pandemic next this is what the team wants the leopard and the deer of from mumbai these are the creatures where we wants to make the mumbai as the olympic city which is having a beautiful environment we wants a beautiful infrastructures around the city all the green patches we talks about are also if the government is right now talking about the 200 acres of car shed but what about the remaining 1800 acres why we are not talking first give this as a forest then we talks about car shed whether it goes somewhere in kanjun mark or somewhere else but first even there is a willingness by the government they have to talk about the 1800 last government given a 800 acres back to sanjay gandhi national park out of 3200 acres if we need the 200 acres for car shed we needs 3 to 400 acres for something else if we require but what about the remaining 1800 acres of land which is a very beautiful leopard species how we can manage the green patches with the environment with the infrastructure with the dignity of people we are not saying ki remove all the people who are in slum from mumbai then who will run the mumbai who will drive your auto who will drive your bus who will 
support your uh, security and the medical uh, system so we needs everything and we need we need to talk about the five balancing wheels the we uh, talking about mumbai march is as a nation we have to talk about the dignity of people we have to talk about the economy of the city we have to talk about the environment and we have to talk about the roads the infrastructures the bridges of the city and this is everything is written suggested recommendations and chitra commission report which is very creatively very taken a pain to draft this report by the many people we met mr chitle also he said what i did what i want i put it in the report but now it's your duty so mumbai march is continuously doing this will fighting continuously for our leopard for our dear so we are requesting you share maximally because if you share it's you are not sharing mumbai march you are sharing your mumbai you are carrying your future generation your uh, one button to click on this or sharing this video or sharing some slides from this it will help the city so once again on behalf of entire team of uh, mumbai march jai hind jai maharashtra and thank you so much